Right, in this video, just a short video, I thought I'd make. Um, shut this drawer. I want to talk a bit about lead hardness testing. And you know what I'm all like by now, you should know what I'm like. I don't like buying something if I can make it myself. Well, I've come up with an idea to try and test my lead. Because I'm intrigued to find out, really, how hard this lead is I've been making. So I've come up with this little device in my lathe. Um, got a spring on there. It's about sixty pound compression spring. It's um, quite stout. Um, I know there's lead testers you can buy, but I'm not going to pay hundred pound, hundred odd quid, seventy eight quid, or whatever they are for a lead testing thing that I'm going to use probably once or twice to find out how hard my alloy is <clears throat> and then not use it again so unless I could borrow one but I don't know anybody's got one but I thought I'd just try this I mean presumably you all know the principle behind it if you put something soft in there um, the spike, the point um, there's normally some sort of point on these tools will penetrate something that's very soft and it won't compress the spring I don't know how I'm going to translate my readings to hardness but that's something else I'll have to work out but I ain't bothered about that I just want to see how much harder my alloy is what I made in the previous video compared to normal soft lead so just proof of concept, got a piece of beeswax there, made from my own bees. I'll put that in there. You can see I've already tried it a couple of times. That's just touching the bolt. Now if I wind the tailstock in now, on my lathe, to the point there, it's just touched, just touched the wax. Right, in theory, that lead wax is obviously a lot softer than bullet lead or lead I mean you wouldn't use a, a wax bullet would you? well you might do but I don't know anyway if I turn the handle a complete revolution you should see proof of concept on the dial in the fact that it it'll, won't compress it in hardly at all because the point's digging in you might even see the needle release back because of the point digging in I'll, I'll do one revolution it's one revolution on the tailstock. Now watch the needle. It's falling back. It's falling back because the point's sinking into the wax. Right. Take that off again. Stuck in. Move it. It's on zero again. Another complete revolution. There. Falling back again. Same reading more or less. So I know it'll work. So, right, I've got something that will test my lead. Do it one more time. Just touching the wax. One revolution. Bang on, same reading again. Look at, look at the needle dropping because the point's digging in. Right, so hopefully my lead will be harder than beeswax. We'll find out. Back that off. I thought I'd just share this with you, just to let you know I wanted to do something about finding out how hard my wax was. Not my wax, my lead was. Put that away. Right, got two ingots here. That's normal soft lead, and that's my hardened lead. You can see the colour difference. Right. Soft lead first. Well, this is my raw material lead. Roofer's lead, flashing, whatever. Right, it's just touching the needle. Right, I'll do one complete revolution, or see, see how much this pushes the spring in. Oh, 
obviously more than the wax. Right, what's that reading? It's gone all the way round, which is um, it's 0 0.01 of a millimetre, so it's 100 and 121 times 0 0.01, or whatever that is anyway. Let's displace it to there, 20. Wind it back, it's on zero again. Move my lead. Right, just touching again, another revolution. Uh, it's just shy of 20 that time. Do another one. Fresh spot. Right, it's just touching. One revolution. It's pretty accurate. It's as accurate as anything you could buy. The only trouble is I don't know how to translate that into hardness. Right. So we'll bugger that off. This is my hardened lead. The 3% antimony lead. Put him in. Now this should send the needle around a fair bit more because it's hardened. The reason, I don't know if you all understand that, but if that was a piece of steel, that, that point wouldn't go in it at all. So it would just compress the spring loads. If it's a piece of plasticine, or a piece of modelling clay, or play-doh or something, it wouldn't even move that. It'd just dig in. Just, just, just straight in. Right, so... The normal lead was 20 after one revolution. Right, one revolution. All the way round. There. The dial's bottomed out. Try again. There. Right, move it. Right, just touching, one revolution, all the way around, and way past the 20 mark. So that's 32. I'm not sure if the needle, if my dial goes any more. That's the maximum on my needle, so I needed a, I need a dial with a bit more of a reading on it. I think you get the idea anyway. All I'm going to do now is play about with this and work out some sort of comp uh, some sort of something to gauge it by if you like. We'll go again, one more. There, you can see. It goes way past. Thought I'd just show you a little idea what I had. I'm trying to determine how hard my lead is. I'm certainly not going to pay £100 for a lead tester. I know it's harder, I just want to try and work out how much harder. So, I thought I'd share that with you. Show you the beeswax again just so you get the principle. I'm sure you all know what the principle is, but one revolution all the way around. There, digging in. Soft. Thought I'd just share it with you. Just to prove what a cheap skate arm. I won't spend any money on gadgets that I'm going to get used to two or three times. If there's any of you out there wanting something really good to clean your guns with as well, try this stuff. Brunox Turbo Spray. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant for cleaning guns. Shotguns especially. Gets rid of lead, powder residue, everything. 
cheaper as well, cheaper than going oil. There's loads in there. I don't know how much is in there. 400 mil in there. Get some, try it. Good stuff. Right, as ever, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll do my best to come up with some more tips and tricks and ways to probably save a bit of money. Thanks for watching. See you soon.